Hi, I'm Pernigo. This is Pernigo Plays. We're playing Palancron Concordance, a campaign made in like 1999, 2000, something like that, by a gentleman named Varanus. Here we are, mission two, A Piece of the Rock. The UED, with its new ally, journeys into the heart of the Protoss homeworld to acquire a Kadar and Crystal. So we're jumping ship! This is another instance of like really strange narrative strands being pulled, where like you start off in one area and then you jump to like another part of the entire sector, uh, seemingly with no real explanation. Um, well, I guess there is an explanation in this case, but the right, you get the idea. Now what? My name is Lance Bader. It's a pleasure to meet you, Lieutenant Kyle Richter. Look, my militia man, you call me Panopticon, because I notice everything. It has to do with my being a telepath, I suppose. What an edgelord. Yes. Well, I summoned you because it seems we have a common enemy in these Zerg, and so you're the one who told this kindergarten cop here to meddle in my business. You've got some explaining to do, Bader. If you'll stop interrupting me... Fine. Go ahead. Good. Now, we noticed you attacking Mawkor back there. And Mawkor has been a thorn in our sides as well. He grouped the Cerebrit that we worked hard to capture. And he also slaughtered hundreds of my finest elite guardsmen. We want him dead, same as you. And we have the means to bring him to you. But we need your knowledge of the Koprulu sector. You let a Cerebrit get away? Gotta hand it to you, LB. When you screw up, you do it big time. Why should I help you? Well, we happen to have some extra credits lying around, and we were hoping that if we scratched your back, you'd scratch ours. Hmm. Point me to the itch, LB. Excellent. We know Markor protects that one Cerebrit, Kirsten. So if we capture the Cerebrit, Markor will come running right to us, and you. But to prevent further retreats by the Cerebrit, We'll need to disrupt the signals it sends to its minions. A side disruptor could do the trick, but... Say no more. I know of a side disruptor on the planet Braxis. Problem is, the Zerg busted up that disruptor so damn badly that the thing's out of juice. A Kadar and Crystal could be charted, but they're only available on iron. Iron it is, then. Let's move out, Commander. <laughs> I like... <laughs> I just... That... Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got it. All right, we've got Kyle Richter with us. Let's go ahead and uh, grab CNS. Holy crap, I just finished playing Annihilation, uh, the 20th mission. I know, I know. Why am I playing that campaign? But let me tell you, I, I honestly cannot believe how fast real games run. StarCraft II is such a dumb engine. Don't, don't use it, ever. Alright, so we start out with an academy, so that's pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and queue up a uh, couple of things here. We do start out with a sizable amount of minerals as well. I'd like to get a factory nice and early. We start out with these goliaths. And what can Kyle do? He's got a frag grenade. He has pretty good health as well. Uh, only one base armor compared to Roland's three. Somebody pointed out in the comments that Roland is an anagram for uh, Arnold, which is pretty hilarious. And I should have seen that. But uh, I did not see that, so. We are going to keep our game sound relatively low for the time being, which is going to s unfortunately cause the... Wait, what did I just do? I sent the rally point to something really dumb. It's going to cause the uh, voice acting to be pretty quiet, unfortunately, but it's something we're going to have to endure because otherwise we have to endure that. I think I will actually do what I said in the previous mission, which is uh, lower the sound of, like, the, the volume of those alerts. Uh, considerably, when I get the chance. We'll also go ahead, go ahead and grab stim packs soon. Um, first, I would like to fully saturate this base, but pretty soon we'll have enough to get stims. And then we're going to go ahead and grab uh, supply depot with the rest of our money once we get enough cash to do that, as well as a you know machine shop and all that good stuff. I think uh, presumably we are fighting against Protoss, so it would only make sense to. Um, have some fire bats for zealots, but Protoss were pretty fucking obnoxious in the previous mission, as we noticed, so I don't know how, uh, I don't know how that'll work out. Let's just get some more marines for the time being. Don't leave me hanging. Don't say that. Could you be any louder, my dude? Go ahead and fully saturate that geyser. 
And then we're going to go ahead and grab an engineering bay. Well, we'll just use this guy. He's almost done with this. Um, hmm. We're still. I think we need four uh, workers on that geyser, actually. Go ahead and fully saturate that. And then the engineering bay took all our money, so we can't get siege tank tech. Siege mode tech. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's the... There's a ramp into it. Looks like the Protoss are marshalling for an attack. Go ahead and move our Goliaths back a little bit. Let's get a medic up here to heal our infantry. And then uh, go ahead and repair that guy. So we got to bring it back to the beacon afterwards. I don't know if the AI does anything too funky after we uh, grab the Kedaran Crystal. But so far, this mission is a lot simpler than the... Uh, the last couple of missions, or the the last mission that we had, I'm speaking like I'm a veteran of this campaign. We've been playing this for so long. It's the second level. I should probably relax a little bit. So, is there an entrance over here? There is, and it's well protected as well. Presumably, there. You know what? I was thinking like, how could they design? What the fuck? What am I? I think we got we got Dark Archon. Presumably, you know, I, I'm not sure if. It makes sense to have... Hmm. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get another barracks. I might actually decide that it's more prudent. Is there a path down here? No, there isn't. I'm going to scout out ahead. I want to see if there's any other areas that we can be attacked from. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple bunkers down here. Which means, of course, we need more SCVs to uh, replenish our stocks back in there. So, I, I mean... I think that does drop a lot, so I'm not entirely confident with completely abandoning my base necessarily, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, looks like we also need more depots, which is not great. Um, so let's go ahead and queue one of those up. And then I would like to also get an armory, so we'll go ahead and build one. Can we squeeze one in there? Yeah, we can. Hopefully our SCV doesn't get trapped behind this, because we it's going to be a while before we have a dropship, so I'll just kill him if that happens. I'm not shy about murdering workers in cold blood. I'm going to build the depot over here as well. Just leave a, a couple of units over here. Can't hurt. Obviously too few will, will hurt quite a bit. And then we'll go ahead and grab another depot there. And grab a medic. Just in case they do attack, we can buy some time. Micro around a little bit. Uh, no, I'm trying to move this guy down here, Milady. Grab a turret. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, Mr. Roland, here's a suggestion. Shh. Tell your adjutant buddy to shush too. Um, no, I think I want to keep the rally point down here. Go ahead and grab a and lock down there. Oh wow, this this went down real quick between zealots and. Uh, Tank blasts. Too bad we, do, we don't have, like, building armor or anything. I guess the solution is really just more bunkers. Uh, why does that happen? That's so goofy that on ire the, there are Dark Archons. I guess maybe... This is after Brood War, so maybe there are... Wait, why are there Protoss on ire anyways? <laughs> that's just completely glossed over. I don't think that's actually something that happens. Go ahead and just repair this. We'll go ahead and attack with this fire bat, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, why don't we set up another missile turret down here? Meanwhile, uh, we can go ahead and save, I suppose. This is two. Uh, I'd like to secure an expansion. I'm not really in a huge rush to get to the beacon there with an SCV. Obviously, we're. it's probably going to be like... It's pretty telegraphed at this point, I think, that we're going to be looking at... Um, a ripoff of that Zerg mission, where they just have, uh, wait, what was in here? Just, we need another Marine. Yeah, so, uh, it's probably just going to be a ripoff of the, that Zerg mission, where you re retrieve the Kadar and Crystal. That's my idea, anyways. It's all I can think of. Um, is there an AI down here? I mean, they aren't attacking from this angle yet, so I don't know. What does he get? Plus two damage? That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know if he deals explosive damage or what. 
All right, so what, if, whatever's up here, we can't actually tell without a scan. There's a geyser. And there are indeed minerals, so we might want to go ahead and float a command center up here. And just keep scouting out ahead. A nice little temple here. A cozy little temple. It can be yours for the low, low price of... I don't know, whatever a low price is not. Roland, the real estate agent. It's our favorite guy. Favorite character. I don't know if there's actually, like, a... This, one thing I will say is that this this map, at least, seems suitably dude-added. I mean, I would probably do more, but I'm a maniac, so... Yeah, chill out, me. Me, the maniac. Why don't we go ahead and grab a starport as well, since we're going to be ferrying uh, SCVs before long. Go ahead and put it right here, I guess. Grab another tank while we're at it. And I think we're good on... Supply depots for a while. Some more units here. We can hear the resounding blasts of siege tanks. Station 1 fire bat right here. Relax. Yeah, one, just one more tank should guarantee that we have this passage completely secured. I guess the only issue then is... Uh, where's Roland? Oh, here he is. I, I don't know where... I was like, where the fuck did I put him? So there's no other way to go here, or is there? Oh, there's another ramp over here we could secure if we wanted to be 100% certain. Okay, what is happening here? I mean, we could probably w win this pretty easily anyways, but... You don't say. Oh, my feedback. Oh, we got him. So cool. Can he attack air units? I don't know. Oh, we are getting upgraded completed quite a bit. Quite a bit more than I would like. Yeah, just repair all these slowly. We'll lift this off and land it right there. That seems good. Go ahead and repair the bunker. Any of these tanks damaged? This one is. I was He was pecked, pecked away by um, a bunch of savage scouts. For some reason. We can just put a, a couple of uh, missile turrets in that area, probably. Uh, why don't we actually move this a little bit out of the way? I don't want to... I don't want to screw up too much there. And then we'll go ahead and grab a science facility. Somewhere over here. Yeah, I don't want to screw with my unit's pathing too much. Amazing. You took the most asinine way. You fucking asshole. Alright, build something over there as well. Um, yeah, we definitely are going to need more supplies as time goes on, so we'll go ahead and set up a couple more of those. We do have a double armory set up here. I'd like to get a third one. And start getting ship weapons as well. That would seem reasonable. And we'll just go ahead and grab a drop ship. Mostly focusing on macroing at this point. Probably unnecessarily so. But, uh, hey man. I have so many minerals that are spent, like, just in a, in a fucking queue, not contributing towards anything. Alright, and then we'll, uh, I guess we can, we can either do wraiths? I, I want to have something to deal with the carriers and the reavers. Those are pretty nasty, and they, they have scouts, but we can probably, with enough ra uh, wraiths, or we could go battlecruiser. Yeah, let's, let's do, like, a couple battlecruisers and mostly wraiths. I think that would be reasonable. With the uh, extra expansion that we have set up here, I think we'd be in pretty good shape to actually make it happen. Alright, let's come down here. And one of you can go ahead and grab that, a refinery on that. Set up a couple missile turrets. Oh, we don't have any minerals. They're still in a queue somewhere, probably. Oh, it's 100 minerals. Was it at 75 on this map? Or on the last map? On this map, yeah. Way back when. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. And grab ship plating. If we ever had money. If I never knew how to read a, a number. Okay, I'll go ahead and fully saturate this right out of the gate. And I think it's important to also set up a bunker right there. That's probably good. And then we'll ferry some units. Probably from over here is fine. 
Okay, let's go ahead and grab this now. Um, Wraiths is fine. We'll get Yamato Gun, and then I think I'm going to Yamato those, uh, those scouts. Amazing. Truly incredible. What the fuck? Why is everything so expensive? Are you kidding me? He's going to blow up my physics lab now? No. Bad. Hey, asshole. Lock him down, will you? Oh my god, what a joke. What base is under attack now? He does some pretty good damage. We can uh, pretty easily get, get around this by just setting up a bunch of turrets. Over here. And then obviously having rates will be ideal as well. I can't believe the amount of gun was 200-200 on the uh, earlier patches. That's insane. So as long as we have one starport pumping up battle cruisers while the rest pump out uh, rates, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. You really need to stop beeping at me. I hope everybody really likes the beeping sound. Hope everybody really enjoys it. It's my favorite so far. This is my favorite campaign just because of that. We're also getting revered again, it looks like. Oh, that's fine. That wasn't so bad. You are the suggestion. Yeah, I think as long as we, like, defend this area pretty easily, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. As long as we play the game, we'll be in pretty good shape. Good commentary. This is why everybody subs to me. Okay, what up? Let's go ahead and knock you this. And I said I was gonna transfer some units over here. I might as well also throw in a... Alright, you just just come down here instead of spinning at me. Yeah, I'm going to transfer all these units down here, but uh, I think it's also fine to build a barracks down here in case we need more units. Or, like, if this area gets attacked and I have to scramble my rates to come down here, then at least I'll know and I'll be able to reinforce the area with, uh, like, over time. Instead of having to transfer units over manually. Uh, I guess we can throw the fire bed in there, too, just in case. The rest of these units can just be hanging out. Leave the dropship there, that's fine. Well, I do not have enough minerals, guys. We do have Yamato Gun now. That's good. It's 150 energy on this patch, too? Yeah, okay. I'm glad that that's standard. Did I order the wrong unit? Yeah, I did. I hit V instead of B. I was wondering why I still had all that money. Okay. So we'll just get a, a reasonable force here. Oh, look at these. So he can shoot at ground targets, or air targets as well. Why don't we go ahead and uh, have him take aggro. It's pretty useful. You can obviously just use a couple of medics here to heal him. More wraiths. And more depots. Because we're going to need those. And grab ship plating again. And I guess uh, just vehicle weapons is fine. Did we ever end up getting more infantry stuff? No, we, we're still stuck on tier 1. I think that's pretty good, though. It's, I mean, it's fine. I don't think we actually need to invest too much into that. Okay, so we are still far away... Far cry from having actual... Stuff. Oh. Why did they do that? What a bunch of assholes. Yeah, we're still a far cry from having a motto gun, but eventually we'll get there. Don't tell me my base is under attack. I want you to lie to me. Tell me everything is fine. Okay. Reasonable. I guess we can go ahead and set up another missile turret over here. Beautiful. Music to my ears. I hope the... Fucking Dark Archons also play by the same rules. Die immediately. Alright, go ahead and queue up another Battlecruiser. I like Wraiths with Battlecruisers versus Protoss over just Battlecruisers. I feel like that's way better. You still suffer a little bit from having to deal with Scouts, but... Especially since I didn't end up getting Cloaking Field. But they probably have a bunch of Observers there anyways. I don't know, I guess I'll grab it because I think it could be useful. And now we've got two levels of ship weapons, even though 
Unfortunately, they're still going to be fairly frail. We do have one Yamato gun, so I say we go. We'll go ahead and save again. Alright. These are just units that got stuck, it looks like. Huh. Did they, uh... They must have used some of these units for attacks. Yeah, it does look that way. Why don't we go ahead and Yamato? Pull these guys back. Focus down the, uh... uh High Templar, actually, would be nice to get rid of. Before he does that to all my units. Okay, this is the battle cruiser that has most of the energy. We do not want to lose that one. I think we hunted down the carrier, or he left for greener pastures. I don't know which is which. Oh my god. It's like mutalisks all over again. Why do interceptors look so retarded on remastered? Why? Why is that a thing? Alright, we've completely cleared this area. Wow, that really hurts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck off! Oh, that's so scary to look at. Alright, we really need to kill these fucking Dark Archons if we can. I don't know where their base is, but hopefully it's far enough away that we can actually snipe them out. Nah, it looks like it's right here. Oh my fucking fuck you. Oh, that's a win for me. I don't fucking give a shit. I did it. Okay. We have some more units here as well. Um, did we lose an SAV over here? It looks like we did. We'll just bring this one over here that's been building... Is. Fuck off. What are you doing? Yeah, these are guards. So as long as we kill them enough times, the AI will eventually stop resending them. So that's fine. Why don't we go ahead and grab this SCV and bring him over here. Sure, return your mineral. Press stop. Amazing. hi yi yi Okay, uh... Uh, wraiths, wraiths, please. We need a lot more wraiths. So then we also have to defend this, but I don't even know what that means. Do we just have to have X amount of units in the area, or the most units in the area or something? I don't know what that one. But that's like... I don't know what that means, though. What is even the defeat condition in this case? Alright, we have no health on these units, so... It'd be really nice if I could evacuate them. Just have them here, at the very least. Amazing. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well, just pull back and repair this guy, I guess. Yeah, we picked the wrong fucking time to do that, I suppose. Really? Fuck off. Okay. Um, I guess we just bring uh, all of our units over here. I like how he says system is functional while he's underneath disruption with. <laughs> That's pretty good. Alright, just more units in general would be nice. We'll go ahead and grab more marines, I suppose. Go ahead and save. I mean, I, I thought it was going to be a lot more impactful than this. Oh, we never uh, did finish these units off. Don't do that, please. It is not allowed. It looks like all of our SUVs died. The two SUVs that we had over here must have just completely shit the bed. Versus one zealot. Fuck off. Go away. I wonder if this is uh, explosive damage or what? Yeah, it might just be normal. I don't know. I hope it's normal. Oh, my storm. Why is that a thing? Let's just scout out ahead so that our heroes don't get fucked by that as much. Bring these units in. We've got some reinforcements. Go ahead and grab a tank as well. Well, I don't know what I expected. 
Thanks. You're a real friend. Why? Fuck him. Where is he? Fuck him up! Get fucked. Okay. We'll start sending some tanks down here, I suppose. I don't want to leave this area too undefended. And I don't want to aggro too many units on the way. This is actually a really defensible position. I think we might might just <laughs> take all of our tanks down here. I don't know. I don't see any d downside. It's not like we have a long way to go. If we were to... Like, uh, need to evacuate quickly. We can obviously just use dropships. For the heroes and the... SCV. I don't know, this seems like a bizarrely easy mission compared to the first one. Alright, we'll also make sure to cast vision in this area. I guess we'll leave one tank over here for safety. Safety tank. You know. Everybody has one of those. I mean, there's really nothing to do at this point. There's nothing that's happening. Pull these guys in. Well, there's something happening over here. We can Yamato that. Okay. We're getting, uh... Cloaked. That's great. Amazing. I'm glad that this is a real game. Fuck them up. Alright, cool. Relax. It's all over now. <laughs> They're missing the missile turret? How is that even possible? Yeah, I mean, I think these AI scripts are actually the same. They seem fairly identical. Not that it really matters, since they're all pretty dumb. Why did we get... Why is stasis... I mean, I know why it's in the game. But it really is just not fun at all. AI using it is very different than, like, being exploited by a player. I think everybody agrees with that sentiment, though. Go ahead and swap these two out. Why don't we go ahead and order up a couple more battle cruisers while we're at it? We could instead use that gas for upgrades, but I don't think that's super necessary. Oh, we have all these marines that I made, I didn't even realize. And set up some more mis missile turrets. I don't see any any reason not to. You're in the way. Just one of your clones. Pair this guy. Alright, cool. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I guess we can scan their base. Wow! That's a nice... That's part of the guard bug. If anybody's unfamiliar with that. Carriers and reavers idle pretty close to their production structures. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that I chased that one down. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, this is the base right here. They actually have a much smaller base than I thought they would. I mean, maybe that's a lie. They might have, like, some stuff over here. I don't know. Amazing. We can actually move our tanks up a little bit. I don't see why not. Okay, well. Maybe I do see why not now. Actually, just hug this wall. It's fine. One minute to go. I'm not worried about it at all. We've got this. Very easy. So now I understand why they were preparing so close. With, like, right across the cliff and stuff. They, their base is right there. Uh, makes sense. They must be an air-focused attack. I get that. I don't think they... Well, no, they did attack with a bunch of really seemingly identical attack waves. It's really bizarre. Oh, I see you. Wow, I was a little late, though. What are you going to do? You're going to get poked to death. Wow, that's so cool. Let's also bring... Oh, they might be... Uh... <laughs> These might be spawn. Oh, bye. What the fuck? How did this even happen? 
amazing. All right, well we're we're there. We are on the way, man. On the gear, boys. What's going on? Hello? What is happening right now? What? Oh! He's invincible, an enemy, and walking away from us. This is... What the fuck? What is going on in this campaign, man? Alright, let's go ahead and cloak here. Now, there is an observer. We'll knock that out real quick. And it didn't matter, because XD. Oh, wow, we have no energy on anybody, apparently. Whatever, we have battlecruisers here. I like how they just... They must have just assumed that you had battlecruisers. They. There was one guy working on this, let's be honest. Oh, he got recalled. I guess. So, why do we not have shared vision of this guy? Where is he? The following boss sequence contains custom music. Wow! I'm so excited! Why is it a boss sequence? Why... Wow. I wonder how I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> what an epic boss battle. <laughs> Why is this real? He doesn't even have like a medic or anything to restore him? What a disaster, that, what I see. What if he didn't have any mana? What if he just used all of his mana to like... ...do something else somewhere in the game? <laughs> you know? That'd be pretty hilarious. What? I mean, we don't even have... We have barely ha have him upgraded, too, on top of it. It's crazy. Well, what a boss battle, guys. GG. Uh, don't ever try to make a boss battle better than this one, because you'll never do it. It'll never happen. Oh, okay. See you later, guys. This is the best boss battle, hands down. Oh, go fuck yourself. That freak was you. It's all the same voice. I am speechless. Bye.